we are up here in the far north of Sweden together with our friend John B over from the States. And we also have the opportunity to catch a big pike. It's fish. Come on, John. Quick, 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 quick. Go! God! Don't, don't go off, Colin. Okay. Fish on. There we go. It's a bad bitch. That's an absolutely stunning looking fish. Flag! Ah! Lean green slime machine. Nice. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, hi everyone. We are up here in the far north of Sweden. Me, Mille, we have Tobias in the back over there. And we have our friend John B over from the States. So, what do you think about today, Mille? Hopefully we're gonna put a few fish over the ice. Yeah, hopefully. It's cold at least. Yeah. So, let's catch some fish. Ooh, boom, baby. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Nice and crisp up here in the north of Sweden. We're gonna have some juice of the coffee today. Yeah, that's we for sure. are, we are. Nice and crisp. Look at your eyelashes. <laughs> oh my God. So this is our guy today, Marcus. Yes, hello, hello. Hi, this is Marcus from Headbanger Lures. If you're going up fishing here in the Luleå area, this is the guy. So, what's the plan today? The plan is to caught a really, really big perch because uh, we are uh, like a shallow, shallow area here with some big rocks, and uh, this is like the really, really good uh, feeding place for a big perch because it's a lot of small roach and bleak. It's in this area, and we're gonna use both the bait and some jigging as well, maybe. So we're gonna do ismete, as we say in Swedish for perch. I've never done that before, using bait for perch from the ice. So. It's gonna be a hell lot of fun. Yeah, it's a really, really good uh, method for, for a huge they perch. It oh. isn't the optimal time at the year, but uh, it should work. So let's let's see. Yeah. <laughs> before, and we also have the opportunity to catch a big pike, which is something I have done before, unlike the redfin perch. So I'm used to the pike, not so used to redfin perch. It's gonna be fun. Beautiful sunrise. Um, just absolutely gorgeous out here. Let's get after it. Perfect. So Tobias is making one video, yeah. an episode of Team Garant. Exactly. You can watch it up here. And John, you're gonna make some video as well, yeah. I guess? Yeah, I got a little uh, GoPro attached to my chest. It never leaves my chest. Yeah, John B style. Yep. Like so, that. we're gonna link it in the description down there. Thank you. And up here, of course. And then up there. Boom, let's catch some perch. Boom. So now let's get started and uh, see if we can catch some fish. Yeah, man, let's This is gonna be in. epic. <laughs> so freaking stoked about this. So now Mark Marcus has drilled a bunch of holes and now we're gonna place out these rods. So this is the rig, this four carbon leader, single hook, and lightweight. So Jan, this is your first time in Sweden? Yes. Yeah, second time in Europe? Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So the main target today is gonna be perch, both on the live bait and also jigging. But we are gonna place out a few holes with uh, bigger bait fish, a bit different places, and uh, see if we can catch some big arctic pike up here in the north. I've been up around here in these areas filming fly fishing in the summer for pike and uh, these waters are just incredible for big pike. Oh my god, they're so cool. So it's gonna be really fun to fish them from the ice as well. The final hole, and now what you want to keep in mind is the angle towards the camp. If we would put, put this flag like this, you wouldn't really be able to see very good when it sets off. But if you have it to a 90 degree angle like this, you will see very easily from, from the side when, it, when you have a flag. Or uh, what do you say in Swedish? Fell. Fell! Oh, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I was just instructing the people here on YouTube. No need to worry. So now you can see the flag, how it goes like that. But if I would be standing over here, it's hard to see if it has set off or not. So this is one of the pike rods. We have a few perch rods and a few pike rods. So here we have a big perch as bait. So now let's just hope we don't get any... Gris, gris. Gris, gris. No gris, gris today.
Okay, now I have something weird going on here. Martin is icing out the holes. But it turns out the the flag is gone. It's fish. John, it's the fish. Fish. Come on, John. Come on, quick, on. quick, quick, quick. So now we have a flag. We've decided that John's going to take the first fish. Yeah, probably. It's just to go. Hit it hard, man. Like it. It's going up, up, up. Good one. Well done, man. That was quick. Feels decent. Doesn't look good, Marcus. I can see it yet. Feels decent. Not mega heavy, but it feels good. Not bad. Look at that. There we go. Not a bad one, too. Short, but really fat. Look how chubby this guy is. Gorgeous fish. Congratulations. Mini gator. Thank you. Wow. Nice stuff. There he goes. Woo! Nice your, job. your first Swedish Sweet. fight. Yeah. Good one. Good one. Good little fight. Not bad. I didn't even see it pop up. What happened? Oh, the, the, it took the flag. I went here to clear the ice. Oh, and he took and it. There was no flag. Oh, <laughs> so he had to really capture the flag. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lots of fun. First fish has been caught, and we all know what that means. Hit it up. Now I have something cars. somewhere. It, it's never a smoke without a fire, Johnny! Flag! Enough, enough, enough. Sorry, yeah. Now it's the first fish for me today. John has already got a fire. Smasher. Sorry. Smasher. 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 The good thing now, Mille, is that if we catch that fish again, it probably weighs like 200 grams more yeah. now. So, if we catch a pike now, 10.0 kilos, we know why. Yeah, I like how you think, Pony. Flag, flag, flag. This is the toughest fish. He gets one more chance, then it's my turn. Here comes the camera guy. Yes. It is. Got him. Jump. Nothing. No. No, man, he's not even there. So we decided on beforehand that John would take the first fish and then Tobias. But if he missed two fish in a row, the rule says that the turn goes over to me in this case. So next flag, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be mine. And then I'm gonna have two shots. Yeah, then always get two shots. If you miss the second one, you're off. Lunch time, guys. This is the only reason why we brought Mille on this trip. He's the lunch guy of Canon Goddess. Ah! Don't on gas, kanske. Oh, there we go. They got fire. Now there are, there are two reasons why I have lunch while ice fishing. First of all, lunch is nice. Secondly, you always get the bite while having lunch. Yeah. So waiting for the lunch bite now. This time in memorial. Yeah. Always when you're having a lunch. We love those lunch bites. Yeah. Like we said, while preparing lunch, we get we got a flag. I'm gonna slow down here the last few meters. That's yeah, second line. Yeah, so I'm slow. Yeah, second line. Come on. All right. Fish on. There we go. It's a bad bit. Oh, well, feels like a small pike. Or? That looks like a good one. Is it decent? Yeah. yeah that looks like it's off the water. Uh -oh. He's leaning on it. First pike of the year from the ice. How are you doing there, buddy? Felt for small first, but no. I don't know. That's a decent fish. <sighs> Whoa! First ice pike of the year. A beautiful northern Sweden beauty with this gold belly. That's an absolutely stunning looking fish. What a beauty. This pattern, these colors, they're so beautiful. Look at that belly. We need to get it done fast. It's pretty cold outside, so we're not gonna keep our eyes above the water for too long. So now we're gonna just unhook her and put her back. It feels so good to start off 2018. With a nice pike like that. Perfect, thank you. Tell your friends we're here and that we are kind to you. There we go. 
a bit messy here, but it's all mine, promise. She got a little pinch on my finger there, but man, that was fun. Ooh, did you get bloody? Yeah, uh, I got some pike fingers. Is that take, from the pike or? Yeah, from? take some to get some, yeah, the teeth while I'm hooking. A little souvenir. Yeah, exactly. That hand too? No, or did I? Maybe. I think it's a souvenir from this hand. <laughs> take some to get some. Wow. <laughs> and you're getting ready with lunch over here. Yeah. That's just perfect. The traditional lunch bite before we even had the time to start cooking. Yeah. Pretty panna. Marcus. We kind of forgot the plates, so we're using what we, whatever we can find. Oh man, that looks good. Wow, that's really tasty. John, can you say pit, pitti panna? What do you ever say? Pitti panna. Jesus Christ. Yeah, pitti palma? Pitti yeah. panna. Pitti palma. Nail it. Who needs a plate? Mmm. So warm. That's so good. Mmm. Well done, man. Nile. Boom. So good. Having a lunch like this, after catching a pike like that, it's just, we could go home now. This is why we do it. Guess it's not the best idea to put down a wet glove on the ground in sub-zero temperatures. You could kill someone with this. Can't even bend those. Oh. <laughs> That was the most fun thing we could do with that glove at the moment. Good perch, good perch, good perch. No! Oh! God! At least I got a pretty dope hook set in slow-mo, I can tell you, against the sun. <laughs> oh. Fucking A, that was such a nice fish. How the fuck did he come off? What happened, John? Uh, well, what happened is, is I missed a nice fish. So I'm pissed. I'm really pissed. That was, I mean, this rod is stiff. So the days are pretty short right now, up here in the north of Sweden. And the sun is slowly setting here behind the mountains. It's been a really slow afternoon. I caught a pike, John caught a pike, and we've caught a few small perch. But it's, it's been, it's been an awesome day. That lunch, on point. So we'll see if this last hour gives us anything. Otherwise we're gonna head back to the cabin and reload for tomorrow because Tomorrow we're going for some arctic char. Uh, Tobias is gonna leave us, we're gonna drop him at the airport after we're finished today. He has to go back to Stockholm uh, and catch a flight down to the Netherlands to catch some big Dutch pike. Way bigger than the ones we caught here. By the way guys, thank you so much for all the love on my last perch fishing video up there. You can watch it if you haven't. Uh, I only caught two tiny perch. Uh, so the fishing was everything but spectacular, but I had so much fun trying to catch that first perch of the year. And uh, I think it's important, you know, not only to show these epic trips when you catch loads of big fish, because this is fishing, you know, we don't always catch big fish. We haven't done that today either. And I think for us, it's important also to show these slow days because we have a lot of young guys watching. And if they only would see those epic days with big fish, they would get a you know wrong picture of what fishing is because that alone does not define if you had a good day or not there's so much more to fishing than just a big fish so now we'll see if we can catch some more this last hour otherwise we'll head back and uh, reload for tomorrow so let's hope for the evening bite now we have a flag we have a flag so now we have a flag john is running to the hole and uh, let's see if we have the last pike or big perch of the day. 
I don't know. It feels good, whatever it is. If it's a perch, it's probably big. Yeah, the perch is good. It's a bike. bike. It's a bike. This may be the last fish of today. It's kind of a funky looking perch, not gonna lie. Really long and green. It wasn't the fish that we expected. We actually thought it might have been a perch because it was just pulling very steadily there, but uh, nice little Swedish pike. Gorgeous fish, really, really pretty. And that sunset in the background even makes for a better shot. Ready for the release? Smelly little dude. Lean green slime machine. Nice. <laughs> well done. It's a beautiful small little pike caught by John in the sunset. That's freaking beautiful. We still have like half an hour left now, so with some luck, we could catch some more. And guys, I have a question for you. Since we have so many viewers from all over Europe, it's always so nice to hear where you guys are watching from. So how many countries do we have watching? Uh, I would love to see that in the comments. That's just so fun to see. And also, you know, if you have done some kind of fishing like this, I just love to hear from you guys. So drop as many comments as you possibly can. <laughs> That's just awesome. So now let's hope for a few last fish. Now Toby has got the drone up in there. So let's roll some dope evening drone action. So time's up and we're packing the gear together. How should we sum up this day? I would sum it up as difficult, but also fun at the same time. I got to learn a new type of fishing here in Sweden. And you guys using the um, little flag systems with the bells. And then, I mean, I, I caught my first ever Swedish pike, so that was a huge feat. Yesterday was the first redfin, and then today was the first pike. So yeah, and all, all other stuff around, you know, the lunch and the, the oh, scenery, yeah. that's, that's just so important. It. Yeah, You can't beat this, this is incredible. I mean, you could make it a little bit warmer, but other, <laughs> other of course. than that, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it wouldn't change yeah, anything. Right. <laughs> and tomorrow we're going Arctic char fishing. Yeah. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. I've never caught any Arctic char. Neither. I've caught Are one, you? but it was in a pond that looked pretty ugly, so yeah. I think these ones are going to be a lot prettier in this, if we catch one. Uh, in this environment, I think it's going to be dope. Oh, oh, very, very. So Yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to check out John's channel, Fishing in the Midwest. Really cool stuff. Actually, one of the few channels I watch except our own. Hey, thanks, like, bud. And sub subscribe to Canon Goddess as well. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace. Peace. Uh, no, no, you, you need to do that. Oh, keep fishing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. that, that, that stuff. As always, guys, keep fishing. Never stop. <laughs>